Hi guys, Todd here. Alright, it's Saturday, uh, the 12th of October, my god. And uh, I got a bit of vape mail a couple of days ago. And it's a bit of vape mail that looks kind of similar to something I've reviewed before. Uh, 310 Vapors sent me the Noble uh, some time ago, and I did a review on it. And uh, do you know, I, I gave it quite a positive review. Um, I did like it, I thought it was a great device, very, very light, uh, I mean it's an aluminium uh, mod, uh, but they've, they've now come out with a slightly updated version, and uh, here it is here, this is the Vapor Craze Black Noble One Hybrid, and that's uh, a vicious ant drip tip on top, the Chaplin, which I just thought, yeah, just... Just looks great. Uh, this is an 18350 mod, uh, or hybrid, I should say. So it's an all-in-one, you know, the battery tube, the tank, the atomizer. It's all-in-one design. And uh, what is this? <laughs> that is a uh, snake oil that I'm vaping. I've no idea who makes it or where it comes from. I just know it's very popular just now. But uh, Gillian, who's the moderator in my forum, she gave me some of it to take away and try. And uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> when you were young, you were a kid and you were ill, and you used to get, you know, your mum or dad would get a medicine and put it in a teaspoon and they would give it to you and you'd, Ooh. it's kind of like that, uh, but anyway, this is about the mod. Now, what's different is, uh, as before, it's 6061 T6 aircraft aluminium uh, that this is constructed of that uh, it's got that still got that tiny little chamber at the top same button uh, I mean the main differences are that the, apart from the switch the entire thing is black anodized I mean it's heavily anodized um, so that kind of takes I mean I know a lot of people had concerns over the aluminium in the center you know in the top cap and the deck that's resolved now it's just got heavy heavy anodizing on it um, what else? I did notice that the, the engraving on the switch at the bottom is a lot more, you know, heavy, heavily engraved. And uh, aside from that, I'm finding it much of the same. It's just, listen, this, I mean, we don't get it in the UK. I mean, you can buy it, but you'll have import duty and stuff like that. But I mean, this is $149. Uh, I think UK, what, about £90, I think. Um, it's a crazy wee thing, it really is. Uh, right, what I'll do is uh, I'll have one last vape. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll go down and we'll have a look uh, in detail at this and show you what it's all about. Right, we'll start up the top uh, with the top cap. And you can see we've got a 1.25 mil countersunk air hole there. And you can see that the cha the chamber it really is tiny. It's a tiny wee chamber. Um, you know, it's it's sloped in at the edge here, and that black anodizing it kind of gives it. It almost feels like a crayon almost. Uh, it's kind of strange, but. It's light as a feather. I mean, this weighs nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, go down to the deck, and you see there I've got, a, this is just a stainless steel rope uh, that I've got in here. Uh, it's a 2.5 millimeter wick hole, and I've got a piece of 2 mil stainless steel in there just now. And I've got ribbon uh, wire round about it. This is so easy to set up. I mean, the fact it's anodized, it reduces the hot spots. You know, you just trap your wire underneath the negative post, wrap it round, 
and then you trap it underneath this washer here and it really is just a showing a hot spot there but that's just because there's no liquid on it so it's drying out uh, the tank itself is a four millimeter quartz tank and uh, when you do get this I mean the o-rings aren't actually installed on the device and to get the top cap off was a struggle and a half uh, you really do have to yank it off but then you just pop your o-rings on put some PG or VG or e-liquid whatever you want onto the o-rings and then it you know, the cap goes on, fine, no problems there at all. Uh, this is silver plated brass, centre post here, uh, and you do have a little insulator down the bottom there. See the finish on it there, same as before. I'll take the switch off here, and I'm just going to take my battery out. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's a, a brass nut up there around the silver plated centre post. Threads, no issues with the threads at all. The, the threads haven't been anodised, which is great. I do actually have uh, some no locks in mine, so it just, because it's aluminium, it just makes it buttery smooth. Can't even hear anything there. It's just great. And what I always find with aluminium mods is that uh, for some, for whatever reason, you know, the, the, the line where the switch meets, you know, it's, it's nearly always completely flush. And I've always noticed that in aluminium mods. Uh, so we'll take this off. Remember, this is an 18350, and I'm using an 18350 AWIMR. Now, the switch, same as before. You've got your engraving on here. Vapor craze with the VC. This is aluminium as well. Now, quite easy to take to bits. Just stick the screwdriver in there and undo this. Take the brass bolt out or screw, or whatever you want to call it. And there we go. Now you can see that you've got a vent hole here. Goes right through. So that's your venting at the bottom. And you know, here's the switch. Uh, you've got a spring there. Now, this spring is one of my own. It comes with two springs. You have a, an industrial spring that, uh, you know, it's like bouncing up and down in a trampoline. It's uh, The pressure in it is incredible, really stiff. And then they give you another spring with it, which is really soft. So, you know, really hard, really soft. And this spring that I found in my toolbox it's kind of middle of the road, uh, but you know you get the two springs with it. So the only thing I've found is see the all the scratching on there. Now I think this is coming from when you're constantly pushing the switch. You know it does spin, and I think it's getting marked up inside here. I think. I cannot remember if it actually came like that now. But if you give me a second. And I just took some metal polish to this. Uh, and just gave it a quick clean. And it's taken all the scoring out of it. So, you know, it, oh, I mean, it was so easy to clean. Uh, it's a soft metal. It will scratch up. But, uh, you know, it's an easy thing to fix. So we'll pop this back together here. There we go. I'll pop this in. Screw it back together. There we go. That looks a bit better. Uh, you know, because I'm using the AWIMRs, I'm having absolutely zero issues with battery rattle or anything like that. It just works a treat. Um, I mean, they're the recommended batteries and Oh, there is a wee rattle there. Do you know, I never even noticed that before. But there you go. I never even noticed it before. If uh, a tiny little battery rattle bothers you, then, uh, well, now you know. Uh, right. 
let's go put some liquid back in this and, and, and have a bit of a vape. Uh, now, the only thing I noticed here, just thinking about it, I'm sure that they used to be serialised, you know, you used to have a serial number on these things. Uh, I don't appear to have it in mine. Maybe it's just because it was sent out for review, this one. But I haven't I pointed out, I'm just trying to think here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, up the deck we have, uh, see that countersunk fill hole there? You know, you can just take your e-liquid bottle and just, you don't have to use a syringe, just stick it in there and it'll fill up no problem. And the other little hole that you see just to the side of it, you know, that's to equalise the pressure when you're putting juice in, uh, which is a nice little thought. Listen, I, I can't fault this. Um, the, the only thing of note that I, I've noticed, I noticed with the the soft spring that they supply is sometimes when I fired it's kind of like almost like a zen button where you had to actually move the switch left to right to actually get a, a good contact um, maybe just taking a light bit of sandpaper over that brass pin um, might help that out but I only noticed it with the soft spring uh, you know, there's a tiny little bit of movement in the switch there if you pushed it bang in the middle, perfect. If you didn't get it, the pressure exactly straight on, then uh, it could fire, it just wasn't making good contact. Um, you, so you, I mean, you get used to it really quickly. I mean, you find out where your, your wick hole is, and you look at it, and you can see that the button is, uh, it sits like that. Well, the, the wick hole is, get that finger out of the way, the, the wick hole is in line with there. So you're always pushing across, you know, you don't have to dig it in because uh, you've got the cutouts there. Does that make sense or am I just talking rubbish as usual? Um, there's no lock switch on it. I don't find that an issue with this. Uh, I really don't. I, I don't, <laughs> it is what it is. It's a really nice wee hybrid. If you have in the back of your head, you know, you don't like aluminium uh, or the black anodized, if you don't like the look of it, you're not going to like it. If you're looking for a, a little pocket rocket, um, I, and one sadly that we don't get in the UK for the price they're selling it for in the States, uh, you know, you lucky so-and-sos in the States being able to pick up a little hybrid for this price just great really is great I can't my opinion has not really changed that much since the initial noble hybrid I reviewed I still think it's a great little device the other thing to point out is now when I got the initial one not this version the very first one it did leak from the center post but they seem they've put I think they've put washers in it so over the couple of nights I've had this, it's not leaked one bit. Uh, so that's a, a big improvement there, and I'm glad we did that. Um, that's me. That's the Noble One Hybrid. Nothing else to say in this. Uh, I'd like to thank the guys for sending this on, and uh, you know who from Facebook that got in touch to begin with. Uh, and that's it. Guys, we shall catch up with you soon, and uh, speak later. Bye now.